A farmer first needs to know a lot about their soil texture so that they know how much water it can actually hold and if they need to irrigate it or if it'll grow just based on the amount of water that they received. They need to also know the soil texture size so they know how the nutrients are and what type of amendments they might need to make into the soil to give it some more nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium. One of the quick tools that you can do is just using this called a soil probe and it simply lets you get um, a good section of the soil that you have underneath you. But I'm going to take my soil about enough to get the palm of your hand and you'll take some water and get just enough water so you can get a nice ball. And then once you get a nice ball like this, you basically take your two fingers here and try to create a ribbon and see how far out you can get it to go and I can tell that it's already starting to break here so since I have about less than an inch or so of the ribbon I know that um, I have probably a silty loam if it were to go farther I would have more of a silty clay loam which means it would hold even more water than the amount of soil that I have right here so when you add more uh, water to it then it allows you to feel for the grittiness if it's gritty it would be more sand if it's really soft like it like this one is it has a lot more of your um, clay or your silt um, components in there as well another quick easy way that you could try to determine how much sand silt and clay that you have is to take some little um, test tubes or little clear containers and put some of the soil in it that you got from your soil sample and then if you add some water to it and shake it up um, really vigorously. If you let it set a whole night, you'll be able to see it'll start to clear up and then you know that you'll be able to determine the layers of sand, silt, and clay that you actually have. You can see at the very bottom there's the sandy layer, then we have the silty layer, and then a little bit of clay would be towards the top, and then anything kind of floating in there is your organic matter and other materials that'll help add more nutrients to the soil.